everyone, it's Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. And today we have our spotlight on Taiwan article, Gu Kang, Taiwan's Coffee Paradise. 没错，今天我们要讲的主题呢，是我们台湾的一个很棒的地方，叫古坑。好，在云林县的古坑乡，我们这里面的话，相信各位都有听过古坑，他们有出什么？没错，咖啡。所以在这边的话，你看到古坑，古坑 ，Taiwan's Coffee Paradise， 咖啡的净土，古坑。好、oh, ，So Anthony, are you a big coffee drinker? Not a big coffee drinker, but I drink coffee sometimes. Do you Do you prefer coffee or tea? Tea. Yeah. I prefer tea better.、Yeah. I love Earl Grey. Earl Grey,、mm, yeah, Boji、yeah. Cha. I'm a big fan of like Tianran Ming Cha. Like I、ah, love their their milk tea. But like I drink coffee sometimes, and people ask me like, Chris, why do you always drink bad coffee? Really cheap bad coffee. And the answer is, it's because I don't really like coffee. So, <laughs> good coffee, bad coffee, I don't really like it. 啊、oh, ，原来如此，所以很多同呃朋友啦，都问 Chris 老师说，哎，你为什么都喝那种很便宜的咖啡啊？然后事实上呢 ，Chris 老师他说，其实他没有那么喜欢喝咖啡， yeah. 他很喜欢喝天然名茶。好，所以他尤其是奶茶，对不对 ？Yeah，I like milk tea， 也、uh, yeah. 非常非常酷的。All right. So today is September twelfth, and we're looking at pages twenty six and twenty seven. Please take out your pen, pencils, and highlighters.、Uh, let's look at paragraph one. Taiwan is mostly known for its tea. However, coffee is coming up in a big way. 嗯，没错，所以在这里的话，我们要翻到杂志的二十六到二十七，我们要讲九月十二号的这个文章。我们在第一段这个地方你会看到了 ，Taiwan is mostly known for its tea。好，这边的话先注意一下 ，be known for 通常是以后面这个东西而闻名。好 ，for 的话后面往往接的是特点、特色。啊，这句话他讲说了，台湾呢，好，往往是以茶，好，很多很多茶，那种高山茶、乌龙茶，或是红玉，哎。日月潭的红玉茶，各式各样的茶，以茶而闻名的嘛，对不对？然后后面他讲说 ，However, coffee is coming up in a big way. 但是呢，好，后面讲 ，However， 这时候你就知道说，哎，有个转折了。没错，台湾是以茶闻名，但是怎么样呢？咖啡呢，也有这种后来居上的那种感觉 ，coming up in a big way， 突然也变得很轰动了。Use your highlighter on is known for. That's our passive voice. Is am r Plus a past participle. 嗯，没错，在这个地方呢，老师特别提到说 is known for。如果你用 be 动词搭配了这个过去分词 past participle 的话，就变成了一个被动语态，被大家所熟知啊。Uh, is known for its tea。在这里的话，就是第一个我们碰到的被动语态喽。Let's take a look at coffee's past, present, and future on this beautiful island. 嗯，所以接下来第二句话就讲了。Let's take a look at 好，就是让我们现在来看一看 coffee's past, present, and future on this beautiful island。我们看看这个美丽的台湾岛上面，咖啡在这个这个台湾岛上的一些过往、现在的状况，甚至以后的发展吧。The history or history 两个都可以 of coffee in Taiwan goes back to the Japanese era. Okay, so the second sentence, the first sentence, he talked about the history of coffee in Taiwan. Okay, here, the teacher mentioned that you will hear people talking about history, 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 three syllables, or when you read it fast, history. Okay, 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 history. I R like Kong Chi because this era, this T is a fa air like the you you say Hu Xi Kong Chi 的话 write that down so we know how to say this word era. 嗯，没错，在 era 这个生这个这个字上面呢，你可以发你可以写上一个 air， 因为它这个字你去查字典的时候，它可能会告诉你是 era 
a a a 的声音，但是真正在念的时候，很多时候念 era， 就像 air。Era 一样，所以在这里的话，日剧时期、日剧时代的时候 ，era 这个字的话，你不妨可以注记一下它的发音。The Japanese brought seedlings, that's baby plants. Write that down. Baby plants from Hawaii. 然后来在现场还看到 the Japanese 日本人呢，当时 brought seedlings。然后老师在这个地方这个字上面，希望你们写上去 baby plants， 就是指那种幼苗，有没有？这些日本人呢，从这个夏威夷 from Hawaii， 好、哦、带了这个幼苗来到台湾去种植这些咖啡。They then planted them in the rich soil of Gukang in Yunlin County. OK， 所以接下来这句话就讲说了 ，They then， 然后他们当时呢，这些日本人呢 ，planted them in the rich soil of Gukeng in Yunlin County。他们呢就利用这个云林县古坑乡那边非常非常肥沃的土壤，他们就把这些幼苗呢种植下去了。ED in English has three sounds: t, d, and id. Use your highlighter on P L A N T. And then above the e d, write i d. You may dance it away t 或者 d 的话，那个 e d 会发 id. Plant, planted. 嗯，没错，在这里的话，老师特别提醒各位哦。如果说今天任何那种字和动词的话，变成了一个过去式，如果是规则型的，它大概有三种发音：一种是 t， 一种是 d， 一种是 id。大家这这这三种，那在这边这句话里面有提到字这个字 ，they then planted。好，在这里的话，你把这个 planted 的里面 p l a n t 的那个 t 给圈起来。如果是 t 或者是 d 结尾的动词，呃呃，刚好它又是呃规则动词的话，后面的 e d 会发成 id， 所以这个字就会念成 planted。planted 这个习惯或者这个规则稍微记一下，对各位发音会非常有帮助。来到今天的 Tips in Use， 我们今天要来聊到的是你们是什么人哦？为什么会讲到这个呢？其实是因为啊，某些形容词我们有时候看到它前面会放一个定冠词 the 啊、哦，那么这个时候呢，我们会把它视为一个复数的名词，那泛指某一个阶层或者是某一类。哦的这样子一个全体的这个概念啊、哦，比如说像我们的文中出现的呢，是这个 the Japanese， 这时候是泛指全体的日本人啊、哦。那么以此类推，如果把后面换成是 Chinese， 就变成 the Chinese， 代表的就是全体的中国人这样子的一个概念了啊、哦。那放到这个 the American， 当然就是变成这个美国人的全体了。那有的时候你看到后面呢，它是可以加这个形容词哦，就是我们刚刚提到的。比如说 ，the homeless 啊，加了一个无家可归，就变成无家可归的人啊，或者是 the sick 啊，本来形容词是指生病的，那这里就可以指成是病人了啊。像 the elderly 呢，这个老年人，或者是 the rich 有钱人，或者是 the poor 穷人等等，都是从这个用法来衍生出来的啊。所以呢，现在我们就来看看两个例句，让大家呢练习一下。比如说呢，第一个例句讲到日本人呐、啊、以注重细节著称啊，这个时候呢我们需要用到日本人，所以英文你就可以说 ，The Japanese are known for paying attention to details。好，这个时候呢，你就用到了日本人全体这个概念了。好，再看到第二个例句呢，讲到说政府需要想个办法帮助这些无家可归的人，而不仅仅是发钱给他们就好。这里呢，用到了无家可归的人就可以使用它了。所以英文你就可以说呢 ，The government needs to think of a way to help the homeless instead of just giving away money to them. 好，这里呢用到的 the homeless 就非常的恰当了 ，OK。所以呢，有一些这个形容词在前面加的 the 这个定冠词呢，是这个常常会用到的，不妨把它先背下来。那当你需要的时候呢，你就可以很正确的把它用出来喽。Let's take a look at our next sentence here. At first, the coffee grown in Gukeng was only shipped back to Japan. OK， 来，接下来我们看下一句话喽。他就说了 ，At first， 起初最开始的时候呢 ，the the coffee grown in Gukeng， 好，在古坑他们这些种植的咖啡 ，was only shipped 
back to Japan。好，当时呢只是要运回日本，好、哦、让这些呃在日本的这些人呢可以去买，可以去享受的。Students pick up your pens or pencils and underline was shipped because that's our past passive voice. 嗯，没错，在这里我们看到一个过去式搭配的被动语态，对不对？好，你看到这个地方 was only shipped back to Japan。这个 was 啊、哦，不是 be 动词嘛 ？shipped 就是这个我们这边看到的过去分词。他们当初被运回了日本。好，在这里的话又碰到一个被动语态了。Today, however, Gukan is home to many small coffee farms that are growing some of the world's most flavorful beans. OK， 所以接下来下一句话，以前的时候呢，他们种植的这些咖啡都是运回日本。然而时至今日 ，today， 好、哦、怎么样 ？However， 又来了。然而，对不对？一个转折。Gu Kang is home to many small coffee farms。你有时候你会听到 a place is home to， 后面可以接 maybe four million people， 其实就是这个地方有什么什么东西的意思。所以在这里的话，古坑呢现在有许多啊、uh, many small coffee farms， 有许多这种咖啡的这种农场啊 ，that are growing some of the world's most flavorful。Flavorful beans.、Mm. 这个 flavorful flavor 就是指风味，对不对 ？Flavorful 就是那种香醇浓郁，泡起来非常非常香的这种咖啡豆。OK， 所以在这里的话，已经有很多的农场在去不断的种植这些咖啡豆了。Circle that full. Full means it's an adjective. So circle it and write A D J because we know this is an adjective. 没错，这个 F U L 当当结尾的这个非常非常多嘛。你看 ，wonderful，、uh, that's me. Beautiful, that's, that's me. me too. Okay, <笑><笑>都是指这个这个结尾的，对不对？就是那种形容词结尾的。所以说今天的话，你看到这个 full， 也觉得哦，这是这个形容词。它前面这个字根 flavor， 当然指的是咖啡的这种风味啦，或是这种呃冰淇淋啊、巧克力啊那种那种各种口味。所以 flavor 在这边指的意思是这个咖啡豆非常非常的香醇浓郁。And circle the R and I N G in growing because that's our present continuous tense. 现在进行时 is M R plus V I N G that talks about right now. 没错，所以在这里的话，用现在进行式来表示现在在谷坑的状况。所以我们再去比较过往，好、哦，这些咖啡豆啊等等都会运回日本。而时至今日，他们正在做什么什么事情？他们在这里的话就使用了现在进行式来表达。现在正在进行的状况。Gu Kang's climate is similar to that of Jamaica's Blue Mountains, one of the most famous coffee regions in the world. OK， 所以接下来看最后这个部分喽。他这个地方提到说 ，Gu Kang's climate。Climate 指的意思是气候，千万不要把这个字跟 weather 给搞混了。Weather 是今天天气好不好啊，然后明天怎么样，就是短暂的。但是一个地方的 climate 气候是是长期的一个。天气的这种情况跟它的一个 pattern 一个形态，所以在这里的话，古坑这边的气候呢 is similar to that of Jamaica's Blue Mountains， 跟这个牙买加这个地方，他们有生产这种蓝山咖啡，他们这边的气候跟我们这边古坑的这个气候呢是很接近的。这个地方你会看到一个 is similar to that， 各位请帮我把这个 that 圈起来。这个 that 指的是什么呢？指的意思就是 the climate。Of Jamaica's Blue Mountains. So here, if you want to use to represent the previous sentence, ah, Gukan's climate. So in this case, we can use that to represent the climate. So you can make sure you don't always use climate. If the previous sentence is a plural, you use those. If the singular is a plural, you use that to represent that. Did you ever wonder why Americans like to drink coffee and not tea? Hmm. Teacher asked, "Why do Americans like to drink coffee and not tea?" 嗯，老师就问问各位一个问题哦，你们有没有想过，为什么这些美国人他们喜欢喝的是咖啡，而不是像我们喜欢喝茶呢 ？Before America was an independent country, it was part of Britain or the UK. 嗯，所以在美国独立建国之前呢，其实事实上它是这个大英帝国哈、啊、的 UK， 它里头的旗下的一个领地。So tea was very popular in America, but people hated paying the money and giving it to England. 
。嗯，所以当时在美国呢，其实事实上茶是很受欢迎，大家也很多人喝茶的。可是美国人很讨厌说啊，我们一直要缴这个茶的这个税给这个英国，他们其实心里头觉得这样子很不舒服。The king and queen of England really love to drink tea, and Americans wanted to be an independent country. So okay. No more money for you, King and Queen. We're not drinking tea. We're drinking coffee, which is naturally from the South America. 嗯，没错。所以到后来呢，因为英国皇室他们非常喜欢喝茶嘛，对吧？如果说今天在美国啊，他们想要独立建国了，可是一边一直要把这个茶的税缴给英国，我才不要嘞，对不对？好，你喜欢喝茶是不是？我呢，我们就不喝茶，我们改喝别的东西。那在这里的话，咖啡就取而代之，取代了茶的地位。那这些咖啡的话是来自于南美洲。John Adams, an American president, said, "Drinking,、uh, drinking coffee shows you love America." 啊，所以说他当时的这个 president 啊，之前的这个 president 呢，美国的总统啊，他 John Adams 他就讲到说，如果说你今天喝咖啡的话，代表你非常非常非常的爱国，爱国的人才喝咖啡啊，不爱国的人去喝茶吧。Yeah, that's right. And and so Americans, after about ten years of only drinking coffee, they just got used to it. And that's why Americans like coffee so much. 没错，所以到慢慢那个那段时期呢，大家开始改喝咖啡了，对不对？不喝茶了。时至今日呢，到后来美国人就已经习惯了喝咖啡的感觉了。All right, let's take a look at paragraph three. Gukeng hosts its own coffee festival around the end of the year. Okay, so 接下来第三段这个地方，我们来看第一句话了。Gukeng hosts its own coffee festival. 好 ，coffee festival 当然指的是咖啡节，对不对？他们会有举办自己的咖啡节啊。什么时候举办呢 ？Around the end of the the year. 好，就是在岁末年年年终的时候呢，他们就会在举办这些咖啡节来庆祝一下。Now a lot of students might think, well, maybe this is a coffee holiday. But that's not really correct in English. You see, holiday really is two words. We can separate them, and holy becomes holy. Now we have holy day. 嗯，没错，老师这边特别提到说，这个 festival 跟 holiday 这个字词在使用的时候要特别注意。这边的话，我们必须讲是 festival 而不是 holiday。原因是因为 holiday， 老师说你可以把它拆成两个部分来理解它。第一个部分呢，就是前面的 h o l i。哈了，其实这个 i 呢是从 y 来的，是 holy， 只是神圣的、神圣的节日。所以你可以想象 ，holiday 这个字在使用的时候，往往呢在，尤其在英文里面 ，holiday 这个字多半是跟宗教啦有一点点关系。So holy days are usually for a religion, and because this is English, we have to think this is Christianity. So it's not, you know, coffee festivals, dragon boat festival, mid. Autumn festival, they're not Christian, so foreigners like to use this word festival. It's more like a party. It's just a word. Don't think too much about it. Holiday usually is for something religious. 嗯，没错。所以老师这边在讲的话，就变成是 holiday 多半这个跟呃这个西方文化，尤其是美国文化里面跟这个基督教有关系的。所以多半用 holiday 这个字，往往是跟宗教有点关系。那在台湾的话，或者在这个你看到什么呃，不管端午节也好啦，中秋节也好啦，他们是一个一个跟跟宗教没有比较没有特别关系的嘛。所以在这里面我们会使用 festival。So we we say Dragon Boat Festival, Mid Autumn Festival, 或像这边的话 Coffee Festival. Right. All right. Next sentence says there visitors can sample the smooth, mild coffees from the area. Okay. So 接下来这句话讲说 there 好在这个咖啡节里面呢 visitors 参观的这个访客参加的人们呢 can sample the smooth. Mild coffees from the area. These 参加的旅客呢，就可以品尝 sample， 就是稍微尝一点点，好尝一下当地的好的 smooth mild coffees from the area. From the area 就是指当地的这些哦，香顺口，非常非常滑顺，而且又不会太浓郁的这种咖啡。Let's look at our next sentence. There has even been a coffee university at some of the fests. Where people can learn 
all about Gu Kang's coffee history. Okay, so 接下来这边要讲说啦 There has even been. 好，这边要特别注意哦。如果说今天是有什么东西的话 ，there 通常是不会搭 there have 呃什么什么东西不可以。但为什么这边会有 there has 呢？原来后面有没有有一个 be 动词 there has even been？ 所以要特别注意 there。不会只单搭 has， 绝对一定后面还有一个 be 动词。在这边的话 ，has 这后面就是 been， 要特别注意哦，这个使用上要特别小心。所以说 ，there has even been a coffee university， 甚至呢还有所谓的咖啡大学。At some of the fests where people can learn all about Gu Kang's coffee history， 有机会在这个咖啡大学里面，人们就可以去了解到哦，古坑咖啡的一些历史，还有它的一些演变等等。Remember, we can also say history. Author, fine. History or history. 嗯，没错 ，history 的两种发音 ，history, history 都可以。There is also a contest to see who has the best beans and who the best coffee roaster is. 嗯，没错，在这边啊，还有什么举办的东西呢 ？There is also a contest. A contest 就是很像是一个比赛一样。Contest is like a competition, right? right? A contest to see, 来看看到底 who has the best beans, 谁的这个咖啡豆最棒 ，and who the best coffee roaster is. 到底谁呢是最厉害的咖咖啡烘焙师？好，这个 coffee roasters 就是那些会烘焙咖啡的人，因为咖啡。豆摘下来之后还要经过烘焙嘛？很好，再厉害的咖啡豆，如果你烘焙的不对，也没有办法弄出非常香醇可口的咖啡。Our last sentence says, "If coffee is part of your daily routine, Gu Kang is a great place to get your caffeine fix." Okay, so 最后这句话呢，结论就出来了。If coffee is part of your daily routine, 如果呢，咖啡已经变成你的日常必需品的时候，好，就是日常生活一定会喝的东西的话。古坑呢 is a great place to get your caffeine fix. 这个地方特别注意一下，这个地方 get your caffeine fix. 这个 fix 它是一个名词，也就是说，今天你要要想办法去解一解你的咖啡瘾的时候，你就可以。这个 fix 是解决问题的这个办法，对不对？你如果说需要这个咖啡因的时候，那你就到古坑去。好，古坑的话，绝对可以一解你的咖啡瘾。Underline that. Get your fix. We want those three words together. Now some students think this is tricky, but it's really easy. Think if you have to drink coffee or you'll feel very unhappy. Maybe you'll feel broken.、Mm. So after you drink your coffee, you're not broken. You're fixed. 没错，所以在这里的话，如果要记也不困难。想象一下，老师刚刚就说了，如果说今天早上你没有喝咖啡 ，you you feel unhappy， 觉得不快乐，哈，觉得哦好忧郁、好悲伤，感觉好像人啊破碎的那种感觉。那如果今天喝下这个咖啡之后，好像你整个人就被修好了，对不对？所以这个时候你说 get your caffeine fix， 这个时候就比较好理解说，说什么叫做被修好了。在这里的话，就是喝完之后，整个人好像 the you are put together again， <笑>把它重新拼凑在一起，又变成一个好好的人了。在这里。这种情况之下，我们可以用 get your caffeine fix， 用 fix 来表达解决了你的问题。Now we talked about Americans drinking coffee earlier, but who are actually the world's biggest coffee drinkers? 嗯，我们刚刚有提到说美国是为什么开始有喝咖啡的历史嘛？但是你知不知道，到底全世界喝咖啡喝最多的是谁呢 ？Well, people from Finland. The Finns drink over twelve. Kilograms of coffee a year. Oh wow! So in here, the most people drink the most are Finland people. Okay, in Finland, people drink the most. They drink how much coffee every year? Every year, one person drinks one cup of coffee. Wow, that's too much. 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 Gu Kang, Taiwan's coffee paradise. Taiwan is mostly known for its tea. However, coffee is coming up in a big way. Let's take a look at coffee's past, present, and future on this beautiful island. The history of coffee in Taiwan goes back to the Japanese era. The Japanese brought seedlings from Hawaii. They then planted them in the rich soil of Gu Kang in Yunlin County. At first, 
the coffee grown in Gukeng was only shipped back to Japan. Today, however, Gukeng is home to many small coffee farms that are growing some of the world's most flavorful beans. Gukeng's climate is similar to that of Jamaica's Blue Mountains, one of the most famous coffee regions in the world. Gukeng hosts its own coffee festival around the end of the year. There, visitors can sample the smooth, mild coffees from the area. There has even been a coffee university at some of the fests where people can learn all about Gukeng's coffee history. There is also a contest to see who has the best beans and who the best coffee roaster is. If coffee is part of your daily routine, Gukeng is a great place to get your caffeine fix.